Some of the students, some of the pe- people came from Urdun, some talabat al they came from Urdun, from Jordan, and they were coming to make Umrah. And on the way, they had an accident, and they hit a lamppost, one of those big lampposts, the uh, illuminating ones, and they had a severe crash, they had a problem with their car, and they got in trouble for breaking this lamppost, to the extent that they were taken into prison, and they were told, you cannot leave now unless you pay for this lamppost to be restored. What's the expense? 21,000 riyals. 21,000 riyals for people, you know, who have very little means is a lot of money. So they became very uh, anxious because they can see in front of them that they will be either imprisoned or they have to bring this money. And they don't have any means to bring this money. Because they were talking about the land, they said, let us speak to some of the ulama. So one of them came to Sheikh Ibn Uthaymeen. He said, Ya Sheikh, we had this problem. Explain to him the story. The Sheikh said to him, Come back to me tomorrow. Come back to me tomorrow. So this man, he didn't go back to the Sheikh because he thought the Sheikh doesn't have any means. He is himself you know, not so well off. Where will he get 21,000 riyals? It's a lot of money. So they decided to go back to the police station to try and speak to the, the shurti that was there, the dhabit, the captain. Maybe he would let them off or maybe they could do something to resolve the matter. When they came to the police station, the dhabit said, if you don't bring the money, then you can't get away and he locked them all up. So the, those brothers from Urdun that were in prison, they said to this man, didn't you speak to Sheikh Ibn al He said, yes, I spoke to him. So they said, well, what did he say? So he said, the Sheikh said to me, come and see me tomorrow. He said, well, did you speak to him? He said, no, I didn't speak to him. He said, why didn't you speak to him? They said to him, why didn't you speak to him? He said, well, I didn't think the Sheikh was going to be able to do anything. They said, well, now we have no choice. We're imprisoned. And we're not going to get out of this prison until that money is paid. So phone the Sheikh. So they phoned the Sheikh from the prison. When they phoned the Sheikh, they said, Ya Sheikh, you know, we had this problem. The Sheikh said, oh yeah, you're the Jordanian man. He said, yes, Sheikh, that's the one. I'm the Jordanian man. He said, why didn't you come to me? He said, Wallahi, Ya Sheikh, I thought that you didn't have the money and so on and so forth. He said, at least you could have phoned me. You could have phoned me at least. He said, now Sheikh, the problem is we're in prison. The Sheikh said, the same evening I had the money ready for you. 21,000 riyals, I had them ready for you. So the Sheikh said, now okay. Tell the captain that the money, if he gives me the account number, I will put the money in the account and tell him to let you go. The captain, he said, no, we don't accept this. We need the money cash. And when we receive the money cash, only then we'll release you. So when they told the Sheikh this, the Sheikh said, give the captain the telephone. So the captain was talking to the Sheikh. The Sheikh said, look, I have the money here. Give me the account number. I will put the money in the account now and release those people from Jordan. The captain said, no, we can't do this. So the Sheikh said, look, I'm telling you, I have the money here and I will do this. The captain said, no, we can't do this. So the Sheikh put the phone down. Ten minutes later, the Jordanians, they were saying, ten minutes later, the police station was in chaos. Who turns up? The Amir, the governor of that area. He had those people released. And he said, now the Dawla will pay for this lamppost to be replaced. And he reprimanded the captain. Look at the care of the Sheikh about the affairs of the Muslims.